My dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Aprilia and today we're going to be looking into the new mid-journey model known as V7 Alpha. We're going to be comparing it to the previous model. We're also going to be touching upon a bit of the new features that they also dropped out, which includes draft mode, which is basically half the cost and renders the images at 10 times the speed compared to the normal one. Then they added out a microphone voice mode, so you can basically talk into your microphone and it will do the prompt for you. Not something that I'm really that interested in, but hey, it is a new feature. And the V7 launches in turbo and relax. Currently, it is available on fast based on my testing. This post was obviously done yesterday, so they have basically now added out the fast feature as well. And other features include upscaling and editing and retexture will be currently fall back to V6 models. We will update them in the future. Mood boards and SRF work and performance will improve with subsequent updates. They are saying that there's going to be a next update within the next 60 days. Now, obviously, the competition is getting pretty fierce with the Sora's new model. And we also talked about what was called Revel just on the last video. So Mid Journey is in a tough spot because they got a lot of competition going on. So let's kind of compare some of my results. So looking at things that I was prompting out on version 6, for example. And I'm going to be showing you how the same prompt basically worked with version 7. So, for example, here I tried to do this pills being dropped into from a, from a bottle to a sink. So basically I wanted to have an image where the pills are being dropped into the toilet or from to the sink, basically, like somebody is discarding the meds and don't want to use the meds anymore. In V6, it really had a lot of troubles with that. Obviously, my grandma wasn't absolutely... Uh, typically written on the perfect way, but usually that isn't a big problem. And here is like the toilet version. It took me a lot of tries to even get kind of near what I really wanted to do. And obviously I tried to actually make a video version out of this and that didn't turn out really well. Uh, another one that I was trying to do is a pregnancy test. And a lot of these images that came out on the pregnancy test were not really looking like a pregnancy test. So a lot of the images were like totally looking something a bit more different, okay? And here are some other, like, better images of, like, these failed attempts. These look something totally different than what a pregnancy test. <laughs> Is this a pregnancy test? Looks kind of scary, so that's a good example. And then I had this syringe shot. This was really hard to also to do in a proper way, like, it just would not hold it on a correct way, and the arms, the, the fingers would look kind of weird. And then I had a prompt of a female sports model. These were not really bad on V6, but this one, for example, you look at it, this doesn't look realistic. So there was a bit of an uncanny valley. Then I did a full body, and these turned out to be really, really weird. Not really that good, to be honest. Here we got like really weird dis disfiguration of the arms. Now let's kind of go into what we were able to do with V7. So this is the full body shot of the female sports model. And this is a lot more cinematic feel. Now, when you're doing V7, what actually is happening that you have to do a training, um, like because it's based on personalization. So you basically rate 200 images and it will do something on that thing. Whatever that's a good or bad thing, I don't know how to say, but based on like when I tried the personalization on the earlier versions, I wasn't really happy with the results. And I have to say like, these are very cinematic, but they, the images are kind of dark. So a bit of the, you know, not very clear shots on the faces. And this this also looks a bit weird. These strings over here, like overtly, overtly big. But cinematically, these shots are a lot more realistic. Like I would say, these are definitely taken out of real people versus the ones that we looked at. Here is the pregnancy test. And these look a lot more like sticks that are pregnancy tests. Like, look at this. This is a lot more closer in terms of quality. It's just crazy. This one is definitely a bad image. But like three out of four, okay, we have a bit of a disfiguration over here. Or is that supposed to be something on the back? Well, two out of four turn out to be pretty good. Now, in terms of the, the pouring pills down the toilets, it still struggles. But it's definitely a lot better. Okay, obviously down, so down the toilet. It should have been down that toilet. Here's another one. I mean, these are definitely better, but it's still kind of a bit of struggling what I wanted to achieve here. This one also, like, <laughs> why there's a seed there. Okay, I don't get it. Here is the sports model without the full body prompt. And this another one, really good Im image. 
good quality. The second one also very good, but these are very dark images. So maybe I need to put out some better prompts. Here we have another one. The arm looks kind of weird on the back, but whatever. And then we have this one, also very dark image. If you had oh, guys some similar experience with dark images, uh, let me know in the comments. Now then we have the syringe stuff. The syringes like this one, okay, there's weird text over there. We didn't give any text prompts. So obviously that's how it's gonna look like. This is pretty good image. Look could be realistic. The, the way it's hold, hold, held, it's a bit weird. Another one, it's this is decent as well. Third one, this looks kind of like the, the, the arm is like disjointed, like on the other side, like it's a bit weird. And then we have a last one. And also here the fingers are in pretty much right places. Not again, once, once again, not the exact best position for this, but you can definitely see the quality of difference here. Here's a, a beer being poured down the sink. Not exactly because I was expecting they would add the bottle, but whatever. Here I tried to do some gradient backgrounds. And here I also tried to do, let me show you the, the Odin pictures that I tried to do earlier. So here I got a couple of images. I would not really have it with these. Very blurry images, very low quality guys. But these, this is what it came out without Niji. The Niji 6 was a lot worse actually. But this one, this is the best one out of the four. This definitely has a lot more detail. This one is very distorted on the face. I don't know what the fuck is going on there. This one also, it has quality. These are a lot more like coherent, less blurry, less clutter. It's just like very better image quality. So overall, I would say like, it's just so much better at following like real life footage. These gradients turn out to be pretty wild looking. And I would say actually these are down in quality compared to the gradients that I did earlier. So where the, where were those? So these are the gradients that I'm trying to do. It's, it's These images are so compressed right now. I don't know what, what's up with that. Is, is that the, the web player or is it my browser or whatever? But yeah, so in terms of V7, now let's go look into what other people have basically prompted out here on V7. Can we actually make it so? Well, there's probably in top day, most of these are V7. So there are definitely levels of quality that it can do. Right now we don't have Niji 7. So in terms of like doing a lot of illustrative work and anime stuff, it's not necessarily the best time to buy. I did just for the sake of the argument, this is not a sponsored review or anything. Um, I, I did unsubscribe from currently from Mid Journey. I might get back into it, but right now Sora is so much better deal for me. So I was not as good at doing anime stuff in my opinion, perhaps. It doesn't have as much variety as Mid Journey, but in my opinion right now, like I like doing with that. Uh, I like hanging out with Sora. And right now I recommend using RAW. And remember when you initially get into the dashboard, it will have 6.1. So go into seven and then there's fast and turbo right now. But let's kind of look in a bit more into other stuff. Like this is good quality stuff. People are prompting out high quality images, good product placement. This one is very high quality, for example. And we can always have upscale tools we have talked about. I have a video about, let me, let me link that in the corner. There is still problems with the text. And that's something that it really needs to catch up with Sora and other ones. A lot of people don't necessarily, aren't interested in text-based stuff. They don't wanna do movie covers or posters or whatever. They just want concept art. I think that's most people. So, if you are not really pro you're not interested in prompting things with text, then I would say Midjourney 7 is pretty decently competitive with Sora. I wouldn't I mean Midjourney is cheaper than Sora. Sora then allows you to $20 a month. Um, but it can prompt you many images as possible. So depending on how much you're gonna be prompting, you're gonna have different results. But I have to say, there is good stuff with V7. I really wanna see what Niji 7 is gonna be looking like. Oh, this one is really, really good. But yeah, I, I, I think, you know, they have once again improved their version. It's crazy to think like they can still improve from the earlier versions. And you can see even in Sora, there are still problems that it's able to prompt and there's a lot of censorship stuff and problems and issues. And I'm just very excited about how are the image generators are gonna be looking like once, you know, the end of the year is gonna be kicking in. But that's basically what I have to talk to you about Mid Journey 7. I think it's good direction and it's definitely better than V6.1 in terms of just like doing real life footage, which is 
it just does more cinematic stuff in my opinion and it's just like a lot more realistic and it's understanding a lot more hand positions because let's be honest about it hands are really the ones that we have the most amount of problem you know getting right in different types of positions and especially when they are holding out stuff or eating stuff so definitely props to mid journey for dropping the v7 and in case you think you have opinion about v7 do you think it's a lot better in every way than 6.1 let me know in the comment section below do you prefer v7 over sora right now etc let me know what you think about it but thanks for watching i will be seeing you in the next video cheers